Hey, how's it going guys? So it's no secret that I'm a huge fan of home theater. Um, I'm just a huge advo advocate of having a huge screen and the sound to back it up. It's just an experience that I think everyone should have in their home. But I understand that it's not something that everyone can do within their means. I mean, me, myself, it took me a couple years to get my home theater where it's at today. And that was just a work of love and labor. So generally, if you don't have a dedicated room or the sums of money that you need to make your own man cave, well, there are options because you can still get a humongous screen in your bedroom. So today we are reviewing a projector that is only $190 USD or $230 Canadian right now on Amazon. And that is the Vankyo Leisure L530 or 530W, yeah. And it is a incredible value right off the bat. It's a 1080p projector with an LED light source that is small and compact with some nifty features. It is super nice. It is a nice clean aesthetic. And in the past, I did review one of these new newer budget projectors um, about a year ago. And this is a further refinement of those projectors. They're continuously um, re-establishing re the value prospect here. And this projector not only you know comes with the projector at the price point, but it also comes with a 100 inch screen that would normally cost you about 30 to $40 on Amazon to get. So that just further elevates that value option. Now, in terms of features, this allows casting from your phone, both with iOS and Android. And the way you do it is by connecting to your internet. So this has built-in Wi-Fi, 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz, so dual band Wi-Fi, which is very nice. Um, it also has two HDMI ins, an AV, so analog video in. Um, it also takes USB and micro SD card in terms of input. What really sets this projector apart is the, um, the ease of setup. So what this projector has that the projector that I reviewed in the past doesn't have is digital zoom and keystone correction, 50 degrees in both horizontal and vertical adjustments. What that means for you is that you don't have to have your projector perpendicular to your screen and you have more flexibility in where you put your projector. For instance, in my bedroom where I had this projector set up, I had this projector essentially set up in a shelf in the corner of my room, tilted towards the projector screen. And with keystone adjustment, I was able to get the actual image uh, roughly square or rectangular. Um, otherwise, without keystone, you'll get like this trapezoid effect, which you know isn't really 16 by nine uh, in ratio. So what is so cool about this projector? Well. Five years ago, if you wanted a native 1080p projector, you'd be paying three to four times the price to get this kind of resolution and brightness. And now you can get it at a fraction of the price and it's finally here, which makes it very easy for you know anyone really to just set it up in a bedroom or in a living room and get that huge picture going. Now, this projector is an LED based projector. So what that means is that you're gonna get extra long lamp life or um, the light source will last quite longer, about three to four times longer than your traditional lamp based projector, um, which get hot. So a typical lamp based projector is not that efficient. It will get hot and it will be loud as well. So, you know, I wouldn't really recommend it in a bedroom because it'll essentially turn your room into a sauna. This, however, is efficient while still having a very bright image. The funny thing is you can't find an actual um, light spec or lumen spec on this projector because the company actually got sued by Epson. Here's some spicy drama for you. Um, essentially, these LED projectors were using a measurement called Lux, and that wasn't a real world um, representation of what the actual light output is. But just from my experience from, you know, having so many projectors in the past, this roughly gives out about a 600 lumen uh, uh, output equivalent of what a lamp based projector would be on the actual image. 
Um, you'll see, you know, like Epson projectors with like 2400 uh, lumen output, but once it's actually calibrated to a usable color profile, you're getting about maybe 1000 to 800. So this is plenty bright, especially if you're in a dark room. This is not something that you want to use with ambient light. However, there are projectors that can do that, but it's at much higher price points and specific screens to essentially make that setup work. So those are some of the compromises uh, with this projector. You need to know what you're getting into. Have a room that either use it at night or have it in a room bedroom that has um, that is light controlled. That is essentially it. Now the other thing that I noticed with this projector is you do get zoom. Well, not a digital zoom, but it is counteractive. So essentially, from three meters away you get a 100 inch screen. But let's say your screen is um, smaller. Well, you can use the digital zoom to shrink that image to make it fit onto the wall or canvas that you are projecting onto. You can not actually zoom um, outwards or make it bigger like the more expensive projectors. On top of all that, um, this has a plastic lens. That's just something that you get at this price point. More expensive projectors have a glass lens, and what that really means is that the actual focus uniformity throughout the screen isn't going to be the best. With this projector, you're going to get a decent um, focus on the screen, but as soon as you get to the edges, you're going to see some blur. So I wouldn't recommend this for anyone who is looking to um, read text, per se, or you know documents. This is more for watching Netflix, uh, watching movies, and even some gaming, because they do... Um, spec that this does have lower input lag um, than the previous generation of projector. The picture on this projector is just really good. It is fantastic. It's like the equivalent of what I paid about five years ago on a BenQ W1070. Um, it has that punch and the LED light source really does provide a vivid picture. Now in terms of color accuracy, this is a projector that may be a hit or miss. It really depends on what you're used to. You are, you are gonna do some calibration and that really comes down to the room that you're into, uh, that you're in, the, the actual light, uh, ambient light that you have, and then the actual wall or screen that you're projecting to. You're gonna have to you know, play around a little bit on the, with the color settings and the color temperature to get it more uh, reference level. But it's never gonna be purely reference, although you can get a pro calibration going on, but that's gonna cost more than the actual projector. So what I would recommend is literally getting a picture that you know really well off your phone screen and a reference um, color setting and matching the tones from your phone screen to what you see on your projector uh, screen so you have something that is better than what's going to come out out of box. But besides that, this is an impressive projector. You are getting something that just didn't exist before and it's really convenient. The remote that comes with it works well and overall it's been a pleasure to use. So that basically wraps up my review. If you're essentially, essentially, you know, making a home theater, a dedicated room, no, do not get this projector. There are better options and you definitely should step up your budget um, to accommodate something like that. But if you're looking for something, you know, that you can just take on the go, easy setup, a small compact projector, and you know, maybe even a bedroom setup like what I did, this is definitely a superb option for that, and it's a great way of getting a humongous image in a room that you probably thought you couldn't have done otherwise. So, I recommend the Leisure 530W. It is an excellent price, and if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't. Check out our Patreon if you'd like to support us even more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.